here knows me, but I'm Lisa Oxenhandler with Recruiting for Growth. And I have to tell you a little bit of a story about Pam before I actually let her talk. Um, Pam is a friend of mine. We participate in a couple of groups together. And one of them is what we call our positivity posse brunch on Sundays. And we'll solve any problem in the world. Just, just give it to us and we can solve it. But one day, several of us were saying, I can't believe that I am waking up in the middle of the night. And Pam, being the energy person that she is, said, well, what time? So anyway, uh, she'll explain all of that. But I want to let you know that I have experienced firsthand how effective what she does is and how it works. And I don't think she's going to put us to sleep this morning. I hope. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I think she's going to, but anyway, I will let you take it from here, Pam. You want to introduce yourself? and yes. I'll... Uh, Thank you for being here so early in the morning. My name is Pam Cornwell. I am an advanced practitioner of Eden Energy Medicine. Um, I guess is no one's heard of it, <laughs> but so, um, and that brings me to this. I call it sometimes two different things. One thing I call it is the best kept secret in the West because no one's ever heard of it whenever I I talk about it. Um, The other thing I call it is the missing piece because um, I found since 2011, I've been uh, seeing private clients and teaching classes in Eden Energy Medicine. And especially with my private clients, I've seen over, well, even some students over and over again, that often this was the missing piece to either a physical problem they had, an emotional problem, um, an endurance problem, because, so here's the premise of energy medicine. I mean, we know we have a circulatory system. We, we know that electrolytes even, which are, we don't see electrolytes, but we know they have they have an impact on how we feel and how we function, how our t- tissues even feel and function, how our emotions are. Um, just because we don't see them doesn't mean they aren't there. Uh, so, and we have in our body nine different energy systems that provide the foundation for the functioning of our physical systems. Most people cannot see them. What I can guarantee you is that you feel them. You don't realize that you feel them, but you do. When they are in balance, they provide a really stable platform for our emotional functioning and our physical functioning and for health and wellness of all kinds. When they are out of balance, we experience that as some sort of dysfunction. And it can be as subtle as just, gosh, I just feel like I'm going to sort of a down mood and I can't get over it. Or my energy is lagging and I just keep wanting to fall asleep. Um, By the way, actually when you're you're, uh, driving a long distance in a car and you feel uh, like, I'm gonna gonna fall asleep, there's there's something happening with your energies that then is translating to making you feel like you wanna fall asleep. Same thing with um, um, motion sickness. There are ways to use energy tools to actually stop motion sickness in real time. And I get very excited about this because like I said, best kept secret in the West. For instance, in China, they've known about this for 4,000 years. In fact, has anybody, um, so I don't see everybody right now, I only see four people, but have you either been to an acupuncturist or know somebody who has? And even though I can't see, there you go, I see a hand, at least a couple hands. So if you have been to an acupuncturist or know someone who has, you've experienced work with one of the subtle energy systems that we recognize in Eden Energy Medicine, which is the Meridian system. So with the success story that Lisa told you, and Lisa, you can nod your head. Is it okay if I say more about your case? Sure. Okay, yeah. I always ask. I don't wanna reveal anything about someone's personal energies. Yes, we were on the call that morning and four different people out of, there were only about eight people on the call and four people all trouble sleeping. 
And um, this is a graphic of the meridian flow wheel. So let me explain this to you. This is, these are the 12 meridian, the 14 meridians in the meridian system. And notice they're arranged, two of them are in the middle, and then the other 12 are arranged around the outside in a circle. So I would liken this somewhat to um, your circulatory system. We know it's a cycle. I mean, the blood that your heart is pumping out, it goes through a bunch of vessels and so on, but it comes back to your heart and it keeps cycling through. So our meridian system is, is similar. And in the same way that, um, especially with the, the larger blood vessels, you can predict where you'll find them in anybody's body because they're similar. That's how the body's made. Same thing actually for you know animals, dogs, cats, birds, and so on. Well, our meridian system is like this. This is a line of energy. It is predictable. It's as though there's an electrical wire that goes throughout our whole body. And it takes pure energy throughout our system. The ancient Chinese <laughs> knew about it 4,000 years ago and they mapped that system. And this is a picture of it. So if you've had acupuncture or you know someone who has, you know that the acupuncturist will put needles in specific spots on your skin. And these are spots that, the meridian system is kind of like, um, it's like the Metrolink system. You know, you can ride the whole Metrolink to your, to your um, destination and back but you can only get on and off at certain places. You can't just get on and off everywhere. Those places on your skin where the meridians come up close enough to the surface of the skin so that those spots can be accessed are like the Metrolink stops. And that's where your acupuncturist puts needles to shift the energy flow in that meridian. And in what I do for a living, I see private clients and I teach classes. There's no needles, just let me assure you that, but I use the same places on the skin that an acupuncturist would use because guess what? They're really there. It's not woo woo. This is physics. Okay. Here's the meridian system. And so you'll notice that it's a circle. You'll also notice that there are two hour time increments outside of each one. Now this is really just one long line, but the sections of the meridian system have been named by the Chinese for the organ that it serves and it really does serve that organ. It's the same thing as Limburg Boulevard. We all live in the St. Louis area. There's Limburg Boulevard, but when you go through downtown Kirkwood, it's called Kirkwood Road. And when you get past that in a certain, I don't know where exactly, but it changes to Highway 67, but it's really just one long line. And this is the truth. This is the same thing with the Meridian system, but each section is named for the organ it serves. Okay. So, I could predict when I asked that question to my friends, what time are you waking up? And uh, you know, I'm just gonna ask you to think if that no doubt there's somebody in this group who is waking up in the middle of the night. And most likely you're waking up be between three and 5 a.m. And again, I don't see everybody on my screen right now, but um, I'm willing to bet somebody is waking up during that time. Now you also might be waking between one and three or maybe sometimes it's 2.30, but a lot of times it's near three o'clock in the morning. Uh, and the reason I can predict this. Okay, so I have circled um, lung meridian, that's three to 5 a.m. And directly across from lung in this circle is bladder meridian, three to 5 p.m. Here's how this works and why it's just so amazing to um, solve people's problems. During the pandemic, I'm going to tell you almost everybody's anxiety is at a higher level. And even if you're not a person who normally feels nervous and anxious all the time, you're going to experience some of it because the world just isn't normal right now and it puts us off balance. Okay. Bladder meridian is actually in charge of the nervous system. Yes, it's in charge of your bladder. So if you're getting up at 3 a.m. to pee, that's another reason you are. Um, but it's in charge of the nervous system. So anytime something's going on with our nerves, um, then 
bladder meridian is involved. This is like a cul-de-sac sort of of neighbors and like maybe these are um, addresses where the neighbors live. So if you live in a cul-de-sac, the neighbors that are going to influence you most are right next door to you. So if I look at lung, but there's liver right before it and large intestine after it, but the other household that's really going to impact you is the one directly across the street that when you stand on your front porch, by God, you're looking at their front porch. And that's the relationship that bladder and lung have with one another. So energy travels around this system in a 24 hour cycle and every two hours, a specific segment of the meridian system is getting its fresh energy. So at three to 5 a.m., lung gets fresh energy. It actually ends up sending more oxygen to your brain and because bladder and lung are opposite to one another and have a close relationship, if you're already nervous about something or just, just functioning at a higher level of anxiety than normal, then at 3 a.m. when the fresh energy hits lung and sends extra oxygen to your brain, you're more likely to wake up because bladder meridian at the opposite cycle is also sort of nudged at that time. So one of the things I love about energy medicine, to me, you can understand why something is happening to you. So here's what I did. I offered to do a little training, Zoom training with my friends and Lisa took me up on it. And there's ways that you can, just by holding specific spots on your body, you can release extra energy from bladder meridian and lung meridian. So I, I showed them how to do that. And we did it in real time on the Zoom. Lisa, what happened? I was, I needed to go to bed. I was just so relaxed. I didn't go to bed, but I was just so relaxed. It was like having a glass of wine or two or six. Did you but sleep? It was just, <laughs> it was just right? yeah. Did you sleep through the night? Oh, yeah. And right. my other friend that was in it in the room had a, the same experience. Yeah, slept through the night. She, yeah. They didn't have to take a, a, any over-the-counter drug or there's no side effects. And I mean, the sense of self-empowerment that you get is just amazing with energy medicine. And it's physics, it's not magic. So you can see why I'm so excited. It was incredible. Yeah. Yay, thanks for your success story. Um, <laughs> So, however, right now, nobody wants to go to sleep, right? You're, you're right. just starting your day and you can take that off if you want, Lisa. Unless I will. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, I see some faces I know. Great. Yeah. Um, there's more people. <laughs> wow. It's like magic. Anyway, um, so how about if we do some things that might help you actually feel more awake right now? That'd be lovely. And and I can explain to you why it works too, because the cool thing, again, the cool thing about it, it all makes sense. It's all physics. It's not woo woo, even though it sometimes seems like it is. Okay, so the things that I'm going to show you right now, you can use at any time. If you start to have your energy slag, you can use it any time, but this is a really good time. Okay, the first exercise we're going to do and if it later, if you want um, a typed version of this, I could send it to you if you send me your email address. Um, but this is called the four thumps. And you can just follow along with me. I'm going to ask you to just approach this in a playful way. And so what if you look ridiculous? It doesn't matter. It's just us, right? Or turn your camera off if you're worried about that. <laughs> okay, so you're going to rub your hands together because your hands actually are magnetic. Um, so you're going to rub your hands together. You're just gonna shake them off a little bit. We're gonna do the four thumps and we're gonna start just under the eyes. This is actually stomach meridian. It's just cheekbones right here. And this is not just a gentle touch, touch, touch. This is a thump. So you're gonna do that kind of slowly. And it's, I can't help but breathe. I'm feeling tingles down my body. This stimulates stomach meridian. And um, what does it do? This grounds you because it comes off your toes at the end. But this also sends energy to your eyes. Stomach meridian actually goes straight through the eyes. And although it's named for the stomach, yes, it goes to the stomach. But um, it also 
improves your eyesight. It can't, it sends energy to the eyes. This is also something you can use if you're feeling um, car sick, you can push up under there because that's like the second point on stomach meridian, but there's a million, not a million, but many things you can use each and score. Okay, stomach, you're thumping there. The next place that you're gonna thump, you're gonna go to your, your clavicles and where it meets your sternum, you'll kind of feel two little holes and some people's are real far apart and some are closer. But you're gonna thump there. And now you can hear my voice go, uh, you should be thumping hard enough to where your voice would shake. And for some of you, it's gonna be sore if you really push in and some not. This, this is sometimes used in education with kids and these are called the brain buttons. It's the last point on kidney meridian and this makes your meridian system begin to flow forwards and you will, you will get more physical energy because it'll be like you're walking with a stream. Uh, if you feel really tired and, and if you're driving and you start to nod off, what's happening is the meridian system is starting to flow backwards because it's telling you to go relax. And you feel tired because you are tired, but doing this will help the meridians flow forwards. And then you're gonna go right on your sternum. And this actually helps your immune system. Your thymus gland is under there and tapping on your thymus gland helps it helps its energy stay fresh and functioning. And that's, the, that's the place in your body where you make T cells, which is the first, first step in uh, tripping the immune response. The next place you're gonna thump is um, on the rib cage, kind of under the breast. So I, this is, you know, Zoom is kind of hard, but I'm gonna kind of stand up like this, so it's like here. And for some people, pushing on your ribs and really, 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 really pushing, you'll be sore. This is often sore on a lot of people. Um, this also helps your immune system. This is for spleen. Okay, that's the four thumps. <sighs> that some of you are feeling more awake already. Um, the next one we're going to do is connecting heaven and earth. And this is <laughs> not perfect. I don't have a studio, but um, it, you're going to stand up and you're going to put your hands on your thighs. And this one looks like yoga. In fact, some people do this in yoga. You're gonna circle your hands above your head, bring them in front of your heart in a prayerful position. You're gonna bend your knees and then you can stand back up, take a deep breath and hold it. One hand goes flat to the heavens and the other is over here flat to the earth and look up. And then your hands come back. So what this does, and then to the other side, what this does is stretching just makes space for energy to move. And I mean, that's the reason that professional, um, well, athletes, not even, doesn't have to be professional, but the reason they'll stretch before they play is because if they don't, they'll sometimes get, get um, injuries. Now you're gonna just lean over and let your back hang <sighs> and stretch. Um, but what's happening energetically with that, when you do this, you get, the energy flowing through your, literally through your muscles and circulatory system and everything. And they won't get injured because the reason they'll get injured if they don't do this is there's energy sitting in those muscles that needs to move. So it's, there's too much energy. Then they make a quick movement and they end up with a muscle injury. So they don't know why they're, I mean, they think it's something else. That's fine. I don't care what they think. It works. Okay, the next one is the crossover shoulder pull. Um, and I'm gonna stand up for this. You can do it sitting down. It's better if you stand up. So you're going to come around to your opposite shoulder, really pushing hard, but you're just gonna drag your hand across to your opposite hip. And we're gonna do that slowly several times. So I, I'm just telling you what's happening to me so that if you feel it, you know it's energy moving. I just felt tingles kind of go through me. And I also took a deep natural breath that I didn't try to take. So um, the biggest crossover in your body is the way that your left brain controls the right side of your body and your right brain controls the left side of your body. The energy should cross over all the way down to the cellular level. Doing this, your hands are magnets, your energies are charged particles, the energies will follow your hands and then throughout your whole system, they'll go, oh, I'm supposed to cross over, I remember. 
and and it'll it'll do that. So it'll follow the the pattern. Um, and by the way, I know one person works with children in here. This is one thing that um, a P, a, I forgot what you call them, but the people who work with kids who have um, learning disabilities and uh, other problems with, with learning, they'll actually have kids make figure eights either in the air or go up to a whiteboard and draw figure eights or doodle figure eights. And the reason is the kids will actually start to function better and be able to learn better. What it's doing is it's making the energies cross from the left brain to the right brain. So this isn't, and, and also when people have strokes, they'll try and cross over the, the, the limbs and it helps uh, stroke victims heal better. Better, but the reason is that it's crossover energies. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the Wayne Cook posture, and this is the last one, and then I'll leave some time for questions. So uh, it, I can't really show you my whole body, but what I'm doing, I'm sitting. I crossed my ankles, so just cross your ankles near the floor, and now you're going to cross your arms. However, they want to cross is fine. Let your fingers link. And I'm, you can either set them in your lap or I call this like a rabbit hole. I'm going to bring them towards my chest and up. And I'm going to sit like this. And that deep breath that I took, that's my energies settling and, and moving. This is called the Wayne Cook posture because it's named for the man whose name is Wayne Cook. He invented this uh, sometime in the 80s for children who stutter and it has been shown to help them with their stuttering. So notice how you're so much crossovers. It has something to do with the crossover patterns. Like we were just doing with the X's you were making on your chest. Okay, so now I'm, however your ankles are crossed, put the other one on top. It won't feel as natural to you, but switch them. You're gonna unfold your arms. And I had my right one on the top. I'm just going to switch it, link fingers, come up through this rabbit hole. This usually feels really calming, but if you're agitated, if you are stumbling over your words, because that's one of the things that happens when our system begins to get nervous, this will help you think clearly. This is really good for focus. Uh, for kids, there's, there's a system called Brain Gym that some schools use, and I think they call this the pretzel, but um, I used to, when I was a middle school teacher before every, I taught sixth and seventh grade math, before every test or quiz, I had the kids do the Wayne Cook posture. Now you're gonna uncross everything, and this is part of it. All the fingertips go together. The, um, your thumbs go at the bridge of your nose, and you hold right there. This causes all of your meridians to unscramble. And now you're going to drag your fingertips across your forehead. It helps your brain to unscramble. Um, <clears throat> I actually, when I was still teaching, had a, a student. I used it in my classrooms the last few years that I taught because I started learning this before I stopped teaching. Um, and he had, he came to school one Monday morning. He goes, Miss Cornwell, Miss Cornwell, guess what? At my house, it was crazy on Saturday night. Everything was like, it was just nuts in my house and I couldn't sleep. But you know what I did? I did this in my bed. And when I woke up, and when I woke up in the morning, I was still like that and I slept all night. <laughs> so, um, it, 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 and I did have my students start to apply it at home for themselves, but. Okay, does anybody feel a little bit different? I mean, it's okay if you don't, but usually there's someone that says, yeah. That was amazing. Oh, more focus. <laughs> Who was that that said that? That was Annette. That was Annette. amazing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if we do these exercises before we go to bed, um, you, can. Sleep? you can, because I'll tell you what normally happens like with my private clients, for instance, no matter what we worked on that day, if, if for a private session, you come in, it's just you. I have ways of testing your energy to figure out what's out of balance. I put them back in 
I give you personal exercises, but to a person, no matter what it was we worked on, they walk out feeling settled and good, and they always have a great night's sleep. <laughs> so I would say it's safe to do this before bed too. Yes, because if your energies are in balance, even if it's the fact that you're going to bed, everything's going to function better, including your ability to sleep and go through REM cycles. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I thank you, have also. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. I had. Um, okay, where's my little? Can I? Okay, can you I share, share your screen? Can you help me screen share, or do yeah. I need to do that? No, just one second. I'll give it to you. Okay. Sorry, I should have done this. Before. All right. There you go. Ready? Good. Oh, so I need to, sorry, everybody. So now I need to click screen share, right? Yes. Um, which is. And Richard has asked Perfect. a question. Okay, screen share. Okay. And this is what I wanted to show you. Okay. Do you see my Microsoft Word document? Yes. Or not? Okay. So this is my contact information and I'll be happy to, you know, give it to Lisa to send along to you or you can. Um, right to me. Uh, my office is in Chesterfield at the Four Seasons Shopping Center near 141 and Olive, close to the Deerbergs. Um, private sessions. And I have a self-help class coming up if you're interested. And this is just an hour. It's via Zoom. Um, and it's going to be Saturday morning, January 30th. It's on calming stress and anxiety using Eden Energy Medicine. So I have that coming up. Um, and at, for my private sessions right now, I'm making sure that I only see one person a day. We use masks, clean the office, you know, after every person. So um, yeah, wanted to let you know that. And so I can quit screen sharing, I guess. Um, well, will you we roll down so that everybody can see your your email address and, and phone number again. There we go. Thank sure. you. Yeah, I mean, I'm also, if, I mean, if you'd like to be on my email list, that would be great. You can just email me. And I don't know. I know we're really almost out of time here. So, um, well, Richard had asked. Um, so, do you just do the Wayne Cook posture before bed, and all four of those? in order to go to sleep? Ah, um, I would say try doing all four of them. Try doing all four of them, but you can use them in any order. You know, like this is like a menu or like a smorgasbord. You can take whatever you want. I chose those four things to show you this morning because I'm targeting specific energies with those. Um, the Wayne Cook is really good for calming you down though and helping you go to sleep. So if you want to choose only one, I'd say Wayne Cook. And if you're um, if you're waking in the night at specific times, that takes a longer time to show somebody how to sedate their meridians. But I would be happy to do a, a Zoom session with someone on that too, if you wanted to. That'd be excellent. Sedate meridians. You also have several people who are putting in the chat how cool this was. Oh, yay, I'm glad. Should I, should I unshare the screen, Lisa? Sure. sure. Okay, let me go back to, let's see if I can find it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with Zoom, but okay, stop screen share, that's it. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if I might ask a question, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Pamela, how essential is it that the person be open and receptive to this messaging um, does it work i guess it doesn't work well with people who are very skeptical it does okay. it works because in the same way that let's say somebody didn't believe that um an antibiotic would help their ear infection go away but if they take the antibiotic the ear infection is going to go away because mm -hmm. this is physics it's really not woo woo it's not belief so uh, i've my mother, um, when she was still alive, I was taking her to doctor appointments and 
she did not believe in what I did. In fact, she thought it was black magic. She was, she did not approve. And, uh, but we're, she was all nervous because we we're about 10 minutes late for her appointment. We stopped at a red light. I reached over to her and I traced, I did something that would help um, the meridian that's responsible for the fight, flight or freeze response is triple warmer. And just on one side of her body, I traced it backwards gently a couple of times. And she just went, ooh, and she relaxed. And I said, mother, that was energy medicine. She goes, oh no, you just distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> and that works on babies too, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It, it works on animals too. And by the way, their meridians are in roughly the same place that ours are in the same way that their circulatory system is roughly in the same place ours are. And you can, uh, I don't, you know, sell these things, but you can buy charts that show where the meridians are in their bodies and you can use some of the same techniques for them. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Anybody else have any last minute questions before we wrap up? Well, again, you have several uh, comments in in chat about how fascinating yeah, I see that. this no, I has been and how that, helpful yeah. it's been. So, Pam, yeah. thank you so much for You're doing welcome. that. welcome. It was my pleasure. And thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning yep. and for participating. It was fun to get up and move. <laughs> All right. You guys have a great day. And, and we'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully Thank you. see everyone soon.